What's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to finally create the home page for our application. So right here at the moment in our slash home path, we're just rendering some text. So let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to create a folder called home where all the components that have to do with um, after the users logged in are going to live. So I'm going to create a home component and then I'm going to stick it over here in the, um, in the path at slash home. just like that. And so I want to create our layout. So I'm going to do a grid layout and I'm going to use the grid component that chalker UI provides us as well as a grid item. Okay. So inside our grid, we're going to have two grid items. because we're going to um, basically have like a sidebar and then a main uh, tab, which all of our chats are going to be inside of. So we want to specify that our grid, um, it's going to have template columns of repeat 10 times one FR. And this is basically what you would do in the CSS, something similar. So we want 10 columns, all one fraction unit. And I'm just splitting up my page into 10 and it just makes it a lot easier to think about the layout because you can think of it in like percentages or stuff like that. So this first item, I'm going to do column span and it's going to span three. So I want it to have 30% of the page and that's going to be my sidebar. And then here will be the main content. So I want it to have the other 70%. And so when I go in here, we look for our grid and let me give it a height of 100 view height for now because it's not rendering all the way. So here we have our grid and in its children, we have our layout. We already have the beginnings of our layout. Okay. So we also want to give this a border right of one pixel solid gray. So now we have like this little thing that looks like it's separating them. And so let's make a component called sidebar.jsx. And we're just going to render that in our um, grid item over here. So here will be sidebar. And then now in this sidebar, we're going to have a V stack. like so. And so the first thing in the V stack that we're going to have is going to be an H stack. So this is basically like um, flex direction column and flex direction row. These are looks like flex containers if you want to think of it like that. So here we're going to have um, add friend and we're going to need to make that a heading and it's going to say add friend. So we're going to add like an add friend button up here. And then the size of that medium like that. And then the V stack, we want to give it a padding Y of one rem just so it's not so stuck to the top of the page. Just like that. Okay. And so in here, we're going to have a button and the button is going to have an icon and it's the chat icon. So let's import chat icon from chalker UI icons. And you see just like that. And in this H stack, we're going to want to do a justify of space even evenly just like that and a width of a hundred hundred percent okay and or we can do space around now space evenly was way better okay so that works and now we're gonna want to 
add a, a divider under that so it has like this little gray line which makes it look a lot better and then in this application we're going to use chakra tabs so if you saw the first video there's like a list of friends and it's like a tab so when you click on the friend it shows a chat and when you click on the other one it shows a chat and it's kind of like tabs of an application so this is how the tabs work you have one tabs component as a parent and then the tabs list is like the buttons and then it's chakra UI handles it by order so the first tab button links you to the first tab panel so that's how you do it you have a tab list and tab panels and in the tab list you have each tab which is like the button to press and then in each tab panel you have the content of the actual tab so that's what we're going to implement so the parent which is the tabs we want to stick it over here as the grid so we want to render our grid as a tabs component and i have to uh, import that so it's not going to change anything of our layout, but it's going to let us use um, the tabs list and tab panels in our app in under this grid. So let's go in the sidebar. And so our tab, as you can see here, um, I'm going to use this as a reference. So the tab list is going to be in the sidebar. So tab list. Right. And then each tab list will have a tab and then each tab well we can actually do an h stack and then render that as a tab right and then they all get this like little underline blue underline thing which is pretty neat and so here we would have like for example um I will say John Smith, which would be like a friend that you added. And this would be in a text. And it would say, like, for example, John Smith or whatever the username of the uh, friend is. And it's on it's blue while it's active. So I'll show you uh, an example right now. Just like that and then this tab list we want to we want it to be a v stack and then we render the v stack as a tab list and that's really why i love chalker ui because it's so like modular you can render any component uh, take the styles from a certain layout component but render it as with the functionality of another and i just love that so we got these tabs set up and so in our application, we're going to have like an online or offline indicator. So let's do that. So let's say this one's offline. So we would just have circle here and the color will be red dot 500. And I have to give it a width of 50 pixels and a height of 50 pixels. And I guess not color, I guess background would be the correct thing. And it's a little bit too big, so I'll tune it down a little. And it's still way too big, so I'll, what about 15? Okay, that's a lot better. And when they're online, it would be like green dot 700, just like that. And so this is kind of what we're going for. And then I might as well make it more, uh, a little bit bigger. So I, 20 pixels would be better. <sighs> what did I do? Okay. Yeah, so that's a lot better. And so each tab matches with a tab panel. So over here in our second grid, we're going to have another component and let's make it a component called chat.jsx. And so in our home component in under the grid item here, we render the chat 
This is where all of our conversations are going to be rendered. So this chat is a V stack. Mm -hmm. And we want to make it so I'm just going to show you real quick. So I want to render tab panels. and then a tab panel under it. So friend one and friend two. And there's one more thing left for us to do. So we want to actually render our friends list, not this dummy data right here. So we're going to want to go over into our home component and we're going to want to create a context to store our friends list. So let's go here and do export const friend context. And we're just going to use the react context API to to store um, these values. So this is going to be equal to create context. And if you don't know how context works, I'll show you right now. It's pretty simple. Don't worry about it. So our friends list is going to be stored in a state. So we want to create an array with friend friend list and set friend list and access the use state hook and it's going to initialize to an empty array. And so over here we want to render the friend context component and make sure we do friend context dot provider. And what this allows us to do doing a friend context dot provider is it lets us pass in value as a prop and then we pass in whatever value we want. So let's pass in our friend list and our set friend list. So now basically any child of the friend context provider has access to this value and we don't have to pass it down as a prop because we're going to be using this um, everywhere in this application. So we can just set it in a context and we don't have to pass it down and it, and it prevents us from having messy code. So now over here in our sidebar component, we can access that uh, context by doing const and then it's an object so we can destructure the object. Friend list and set friend list is equal to use context and all you have to do is pass in the same context that you created over here. And so once we have that, we have access to these values. So instead of rendering uh, this right here as dummy text, we're going to want to actually uh, map over our friend list like so. And the value would be an object, which is a friend. And then um, let me just set this to a def like some dummy uh, friend list. So it's an, it's an array of objects. And the first one would be a username of John Doe and the connected status would be false, right? And then the next one would be uh, Steven and the connection connected status. So like the online status would be true, right? And um, ideally you would get this from a backend. So over here we would map over our friends and return an h stack as a tab and then inside of it we can just copy this over here like that except in this background thing we want it to be a uh, javascript so we can do um, some logic here so if the friend dot connected is true. If it's true, so if they're connected, we would want the background to be green 700. And if they're not, so if they're offline, we would want it to be red 500. And then instead of rendering John Smith, we just render friend dot username. Just like that. 
and we want to make sure that we're returning from this so we can use a parentheses to say that it's just returning whatever's inside the parentheses okay so now we have these two friends right here and when we add another friend there he is right there okay and so what about if we have no friends so let me just delete my friends and we're still showing this thing right here so we can go in our chat and do some logic here so we can access our friend list by using the use context hook and we pass in the friend context and then we do if a uh, friend list dot length oops if friend list dot length is greater than zero we render this and if it's not then we render something else and make sure I put the uh, question mark right there so so if um, there's no friends then we render basically the same thing except in we'll just have one panel that says no friends click add friend to start chatting just like that so there we have our text when we have no friend and we can actually um, center that and give it a padding atop of 5 rem and a width of a hundred percent a width of 100 view width actually oh sorry uh text align center because it's just text okay and a font size of large perfect there we are and so when we have a friend so let's go in here and undo what we did when we have friends it shows them and when we don't, it shows that, okay? So that's how you do a friends list in Chalker UI using grid and tabs. I hope you enjoyed this video. And in the next one, we'll start making a modal where we can click and then we have a form to add a new friend. I'll see you in the next one.